As of April 2023, the World Bank report showed that from the most recent poverty estimate from the Uganda National Household Survey 2019-2020, poverty among the natives of the country stands at 20.3% based on the national poverty line. Financial Diet, an institution offering financial literacy to Ugandans, launched a financial academy initiative which will stand in the gap and enable Ugandans plan better financially and also train them with basic techniques of eradicating poverty. The launch was attended by bank officials and other stakeholders in the financial sector. It was noted by Financial Diet that one of the factors that are hindering the growth of the wealth economy, among other things, is the lack of financial literacy. The co-founder of Financial Diet, Patricia Asasira, mentioned that the lack of a proper saving culture and knowledge among Ugandans is what is making them lag behind on their plans progress, but also their ability to adopt a saving culture. If you're to save, come up with a target, come up with a goal, and once you've come up with your goal, you plan for it and you give a timeline. Because if you have a timeline, it's going to prompt you to save more. More, It's going to prompt you to save more. Because if you don't have a timeline and you don't have a goal, you don't know what you're saving for and it becomes difficult. She added that with the launch of the Financial Academy initiative under their company, Financial Diet, they will be able to provide financial literacy to all groups of people in society around Uganda. We shape you how you think about money. We train you how to invest. We train you how to save. We train you on how to make, how to manage your money. We train you on insurance. We train you how to appreciate insurance, tax, how to know about tax, debt management. All those topics are in our academy. So once you sign for that, you have knowledge and your, and your habits are going to change and your status when it comes to finances is going to be different. The Minister of State for Luwero Renzori Triangle, Alice Kaboyo, who presided over the launch of the Financial Academy Initiative, noted that although government has on several occasions come up with wealth creation initiatives, the biggest challenge is the lack of financial literacy among Ugandans. She welcomed the thought and agenda behind this program. You will be supporting government and we are ready to call upon you to come and educate us, educate the country. Because I guess uh, you are going the right direction. Minister Kaboyo added that as government, they have come up with a resolution to reduce loan interest rates among money lenders in order to ease the options of financial assistance that people seek for. In cabinet, we passed uh, the um, policy of reducing the percentage of the money sharks. I mean the, the interest rates for the money sharks. Barbara Chobutunji, co-founder of Financial Debt, listed some of the benefits that come with being financially literate. Financial literacy is not a luxury. It is a necessity for everyone to do or to survive or to achieve financial freedom. Because once you have the knowledge about finances, communities are improved, the economy is improved, the country is improved. Financial Diet was created with a passion and a desire to help every individual, irrespective of age, to understand money in the simplest of ways, engage in more money discussions, but most importantly, know when and how to invest their money depending on one's financial goals.